What's going on guys, Maze Mo here, bringing you to a new series on my channel called Storytime. Yeah, and in story times we develop one of my amazing Mo theme stories. Check out all this greenery though. Check it out. You got bushes over here. Oh man, grass is nice, green, sky is nice and blue. Oof, this is gonna be a good day. Now, in today's story, I'm going to tell you about the Hershey's Mountain that has the White House just lounging on top. Where is the White House, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Back in the year 1868, I was traveling through the land. Y'all know it's Washington, D.C. I was traveling far and wide. And there were buildings to the left, buildings to the right, buildings in the front, and buildings in the back. Well, 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 tons of buildings everywhere. What do these buildings have in common? They are not the White House. Not the White House, and not the White House. The White House is launching on top of the Hershey Mountain. It's just lounging there. And on Hershey's Mountain, you have Hershey's Drops. You have Hershey's Cookies and Cream. And you have Hershey's Chocolate. Just flowing in a river stream. The river is not water. The river is Hershey's Chocolate. Hershey's Chocolate just everywhere you look. Hershey's Chocolate on top. Hershey's chocolate on the bottom. Hershey's chocolate on the ground. It's just one giant Hershey. Now, why Hershey's? Well, because Hershey's are lit, fam. Why else? Hershey's cookies and cream are the most wild kind of Hershey's. You bite into them and you get joy. Joy. Nurse joy, you might even say. Well, no, I wouldn't, but that's the point. There's no point there. They're just Hershey's. Yeah. Now, what else is on top of Hershey's Mountain, you ask? You got Reese's Pieces. You got Reese's Big Cup. You got Reese's Four Pack King Size. And you got O. Henry. Now, these aren't quite Hershey's, so we'll call this mountain the Chocolate Mountain. Let's get back over downtown to that White House. In the White House, there's luxury. There's stress. There's work. There's anguish for one man. And one man only, the one who rules over the United States, the president, the president. Anyone know who was the president in the back in the blah, 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 blah. I just can't talk, but that's okay. Anyone know who's the president back in the year 1868? Because I sure as hell don't. Was it George Washington? That's my guess. Let me know if that guess is right or wrong in the comment section down below. Because I sure as hell don't even know who was the president back in the year 1868. In the year 1868, McDonald's was also on the Hershey's Mountain. McDonald's came to the White House every day on a conveyor. People kept whipping up dumb Big Macs, double Big Macs, and just shooting them on the conveyor. And they eventually reached the White House, where people dug into their McDonald's. People enjoyed their McDonald's. People were happy with their McDonald's. McDonald's was such a tradition on this Hershey's Mountain. Would you look at all that greenery down on Hershey's Mountain? Oh man, so much. Ain't it such good quality too? Oh man, oh man. But eventually, the White House grew smaller and smaller. 
And the Hershey's began to fade. The Hershey's began to dip down to the ground. The Hershey's began to come up. The Hershey's began to come down, crumbling down, and the Hershey's mountain was no more. So what was the result of the White House? The White House just stayed. The White House is now on the bottom of Hershey's mountain and should remain there for the rest of eternity. And that is my story about how Hershey's, White House, and McDonald's should never come into contact. Peace.